afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new an even bigger welcome these photos in the background are still literally haunting me i know i mentioned in every one of my videos i'm like i hate these pictures i hate i just i need to get some pictures to replace them they they just they they actually give me the ick but anyway i'm not going to concentrate on those i'm almost going to block them out of my life i thought i would just start my vlog here this video is going to be another vlog because to be honest guys i feel like you do love my vlogs the most they're the ones that gets the most views you guys do ask me like, like whenever i ask you what you want more of you do always say vlogs but i thought i would incorporate a vlog with what i eat in a week just because i do also as strange as it is get a lot of questions about my diet, what I do, what I do for fitness. And as I just joined the gym, like I previously mentioned in my last video, and I kind of am not a fitness health hype kick at all, but I am just, you know, adding a bit more of a, a bit more gym and a bit more health into my routine slightly. So I thought, you know what, let's do a what I eat in a week. I haven't done one for such a long time. You guys can come along with me, check out what I'm eating, what I'm cooking. I am again, absolutely categorically no chef. Let's do it. P.S. How cute are my nails? I got like the little evil eye. Is it called an evil eye? I don't know, but it's like, you know that little eye that they have them in Turkey everywhere? I got them on my nails. I just thought edgy as hell for me, but I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. So for dinner tonight, I'm keeping it super simple and super healthy. Well, quite healthy, but it's basically this courgette prawn dish I do. It's so easy. I use one of these spiralizers with these courgettes, which my mum did actually grow in her vegetable patch. I mean, there are a range of sizes and width. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this one isn't gonna do much, but, it's, you know, we'll just work with what we've got. Uh, she has grown these herself, she's extremely proud of it. So, I thought I'd use, use them up today. She gave me a bag of her own homegrown organic produce. <laughs> just gonna have to jump on here quickly as I'm editing this vlog and I just want to reiterate that my cooking definitely does taste better than what it looks it looks atrocious but like I did say at the beginning of the video I am no chef but I mean it does look like dog shy hello everyone I know I started this vlog last week I'm doing a what I eat in a week vlog however I ended up eating out pretty much honestly it was so bad every day last week because it was Jordan's birthday so each day we'd like have dinner booked somewhere so it turned into a bit of a nightmare so I thought you know what I'll start it this week I am on one of these weeks where I'm like on a bit of a health hype eating healthy and it isn't to try and lose weight it is more just to feel good so I'm on my way now it's about half nine I'm gonna go for my morning walk I'm gonna grab myself a coffee and then I am going to fast until around 12 maybe half 12, one. I do most mornings, I tend to not eat until about 12, one-ish. Never ever hungry um, until about 12. Sometimes if I get, if I do get hungry at 11, I'll eat at 11, but I try to wait until 12 because I do love fasting and it genuinely is so good for your body. So yeah, I'm off to get a coffee now. And then I've got a yoga class at 11 and then I'll come back and make myself some lunch. I like to start the day off with a walk because I do my phone calls, I can have like a little, get my steps in, I can kind of plan my day and get myself a coffee. So that is what I do every morning. I mean, I've got a very interesting outfit on today. I've pretty much got every colour under the sun on. So, love that. Yoga is done which was honestly really lovely. It was like stretching yoga. So I feel like you're not doing a lot, but you are. My concentration span is so bad that I'm gonna start doing yoga once a week to like try and concentrate more because apparently it helps with the concentration. To do the, the weekly food shop. So let's go. <laughs> lunch 
I am just having a crab and some prawn salad, keeping it really simple, really clean. I'm not really adding much to it, to be honest. And here it is. It's really quick and easy. I put on some of this house light vegan. I don't know why I got vegan. I actually did that by accident. Um, salad dressing. I put a bit of sriracha, crab meat, bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and loads of greens. It's now four o'clock, so I'm getting a bit hungry again, so I'm gonna make myself a protein shake, which I know most people make in the mornings, but I like to use it sometimes as a snack for around four o'clock. I'm gonna start off by getting a banana. It's not that big. Oh, she's dropped it. I'm gonna put one banana in. I'll probably chop it up a bit so it blends a bit easier. Just going in one of these, by the way. I put some dates in. I mean, I don't normally eat dates, but they're really good for like digestive, your digestive system? I don't know, they're filled with fiber, I think. So I saw them and I was like, come on, let's give them a go. That's what they look like. Saggy, dried up toes. I don't know whose toes would ever look like that. Oh, they're sweet, wow. You probably wouldn't need much of these in there because they are probably like naturally just quite sweet. Um, these ones are the ones without the stones in. Oh, they're actually really nice. I'm just going to put three in. This is the protein I got. I have no idea if this is good or not. I got it in Sainsbury's. Uh, but it says it's low fat, low sugar, low everything. So, you know what? We give it a go. This one's a vanilla one. Um, which I personally prefer. I just put one scoop in. Grab my oat milk. You can put whatever you want in. You can put soy milk, you can put oat milk, you can put regular milk, whatever you want, you can put it in. I've just got oat because I just prefer oat in my protein shakes. Oh my God, this is going everywhere. This one's this Alpro one, which I don't actually know if it's that good for you. I don't measure it out. I just shuck in what I think's right. I'm also gonna add in a tiny bit of this raw collagen, which is obviously really good for your hair and your nails and pretty much anything. I mean, some people can have this in coffees. I prefer it in a shake, because you can't actually taste it, not that it tastes much. And yeah, I just kind of blend it all up. I'll add a bit of ice in there, just make it a bit colder. And let's see what it tastes like. And here we have it, moment of truth. I normally drink a bit of straw, but I don't have one. lovely it's very very good i can actually put the ingredients in the description box below if you want them maybe i start uh, my cooking maybe i start a cooking channel maybe maybe i'm at that point where i'm good enough to do things like that because this is unreal right so an update i've done terribly on the water it is eight o'clock and i'm still sitting by my laptop haven't cooked any yet, as I am in fact waiting for Jordan to finish work so we can cook dinner together. I haven't up even updated you on that, but I do have a boyfriend now. Yes, I know, you're probably all thinking, Emily, are you actually feeling okay? You were single for one whole hot minute, and that is true, but you know what? When it's right, it's right. And I really wasn't looking for it this time. I was really, really wanting, in my head, I was like, single for two years, please, little Lord, I beg you. And I really wanted to be single. I genuinely had that in my mind. I was so content on my own. And then boom, someone just comes along. But yeah, you'll love Jordan. He's very nice. He's older, he's 32, I'm 26. So good age gap. We kind of grew up and knew each other because we grew up in Surrey together. So I've known him for a while. It's weird how life works like that, isn't it? He's not in the public eye. I have forced him to do one main Chelsea scene. <laughs> Much to his despair. Poor guy. So he's done one scene on main in Chelsea, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to squeeze much more out of him, to be honest. We will see. See if I can bribe him some more. Yeah, he's very much not in the public eye or he does like more corporate stuff. I've had also, before you, before I forget to say, I've also eaten some lentil chips, which I'm obsessed with, with some tzatziki, and I ate that at like 
six o'clock, so about two hours ago. Um, I think I have an addiction to that as a snack. Granted, it's probably not that healthy for you, but I absolutely love it. And lentil chips can't be that bad. For you. It's my, it's my, there's just something about it. I'm obsessed. Also, I don't know what to do with my hair. I want to dye it blonder, but every time I do, it just falls out. Like, it just snaps. My hair does not deal with bleach very well. I haven't had this dyed since, as in the roots, like blonde. I haven't had it done since February. February. Did I say that right? Again, I'm sitting here rambling on. I am making salmon rice noodles. <laughs> John's laughing at me because he's literally thinking, what the hell are you doing? Salmon rice noodles. It's really easy. I'll show you the ending. Um, it's not very hard and it's not very interesting, but it is healthy and good for you. We've got a slight problem going on. I've forgotten to fake tan my back. Um, if you haven't noticed, right here. <laughs> How much do you fancy me when I've got off a body fake tan? Ten out of ten. That's a minus ten out of ten. And there it is. A healthy, healthy dinner. I am a dodgy tan beauty queen. I know I'll be influencing you all right now on makeup skincare, especially tan, because She's a sweaty, sweaty mess. I've been out all day filming and I haven't filmed what I've eaten today because if I made this whole video about purely what I'm eating, I'm sure you'd all actually be very bored because it's not that interesting. So I thought I'd add a few more bits in and I'm about to take my makeup off and I haven't done one of these in so long. So I just thought I'd go through with you what skincare I'm using at the moment. I'm sure it's different to when I last did it, which is so long ago. And I've got my hairdresser coming around in a moment to give me a blow dry just because I'm so lazy and I need also a treatment on these dead, dead, dead ends. I just feel grubby at the minute. So I'm going to like cleanse, wash, clean my face and thought I'd show you what I use. These, by the way, they're my favourite thing in the world. They're the reusable, washable makeup removing pads and they are so good i got these ones from touch and these ones from spectrum okay that is illegal we'll put that one away that one needs to go in the wash quite clearly um but there we go this one's they smell like washing powder i'm gonna start off by rinsing the face you know how it is i'm gonna use my lms cleansing balm because it is my absolute favorite Ooh, it's gone in my mouth, it's gone in my mouth. <laughs> Literally so chaotic right now. That fully just went in my mouth, I ate it. So I literally just rubbed that all in. It's super, It's I wanna say greasy, but it's not greasy. It's like balmy, you know? And I genuinely have what I like to call lovely, lovely, lovely dry skin really badly here i get it here and my chin as well it's probably just dehydration to be honest and then i'm going to use my lms dynamic resurfacing facial pads this guys this is not an ad for lms <laughs> it's just genuinely what i use these smell incredible by the way i don't know why how good they just literally smell amazing and um, i like them because they're really easy to use because i just go like this and it's so easy if you're like me and you're lazy with skincare not lazy but like I'm not some sort of skincare queen. I don't do it religiously all the time and put like 17 products on my face. I just, quick and easy for me, normally cleanse when I'm in the shower using some sort of cleanser. I then moisturize and serum is my main thing. I'm then gonna use this Kiehl's Midnight Recovery. I mean, I've used this for years. I absolutely love it. it Obviously, you're meant to put it on at night. I put it on in the day as well. I just use it for everything. I've actually pretty much nearly ran out. But I just love it. It's got a nice smell to it as well. I put that on. Whether I'm doing this in the right order or not, as you're meant to, I honestly have no idea. I then... By the way, this is very rare that I do all these products in once. 
like I said, I'm no guru with the whole skincare scenario, but if I'm going to do it properly, then this is what I do. I love the fact that I've just put eye cream on my cheeks and it's meant to go under eyes, but I also use this Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Serum. Whack that on underneath my eyes just to make them look glowy and bright. I wish I did do this every day, like... Imagine what my skin would look like. It would look so good. I just don't have the time, do you know what I mean? I really just, who has the time? Especially after a few Vinos to come home and do all of this. Then I'm using this Bioma, Bi Bioma? I mean, I don't actually know how you pronounce it, but I just got sent this in a little PR package. And I like the branding. The branding's what sold it to me. Whether it's good or not for your face, I don't know. I've been using it, I've been liking it. It's actually a gel moisturizer. So it's quite nice because it's not like really creamy. It's actually a bit more serum-y, but it's not a serum. It is a moisturizer. So I'm kind of liking it. So she whacks that on. And this, right, when I got sent this, this Elemis thing, I never thought I'd actually use it because I'm like, mm. but I've actually been using this quite a lot. Look, I mean, I only got it the other week. Quite a lot. So you only use a few sprays. So I just... nothing better than taking your makeup off i feel like a new woman i'm very excited for dylan to come and do my hair i do feel like i just vlog me getting treatments and not really working or doing too much uh, but i promise you i actually do a lot link the skincare products down below so they're easy to find for you all but yeah that's what i use pretty much every day and when I, well a lot of them when i can be bothered so Dylan, the absolute wizard and the hero and the saviour has come save the day slash I was lazy and didn't want to off my hair, but it did need a treatment and look at how much better the condition is and the so shine. Good. This is Dylan, say hey. Hi. <laughs> I will leave Dylan's, and, oh my god I can't speak today, I will leave Dylan's Instagram in here for you so if you have any questions about hair and what i get done you can just drop him a little dm i've kind of done for literally ages it's due like a little revamp i believe but saved by these lovely products which he uses which this you swear by don't you dylan swear by it it's amazing then we put some of this in and this was the mask that we used which is very hydrating so yeah and look at my grubby phone there so tonight i am having chicken thighs with a bit of a feta salad with giant couscous and some veg very simple very boring but it is a wednesday night i mean do excuse the state of my room i am currently all packing to go away for the weekend but I thought to end this vlog, because I want to end it here and get it out to you guys, I would do a little unboxing. Basically just show you all the crap and really unnecessary things that I've bought this week. So, we're starting off with a bit of an Amazon order. Really didn't need any of this, but we move. Pack of glass jugs, mugs, whatever you want to call them. They pretty much look like this. And there's four of them with some matching bamboo straws, which I thought would be kind of cute to put in like my protein shakes, iced coffee. I just thought they were kind of cute. Very unnecessary, but there we go. I've got four of those. And then I went to go buy myself some wired headphones off Amazon because I've lost my AirPods for the second time. And apparently they are really, they have really, really bad radiation. So... That kind of scared me because I watched this video about the how like high the radiation is in them and it literally like fries your brain. So she's gone back to the old school and I've gone for the wired. But to be honest, they're actually not that bad. But they're also in the gym really annoying. I do miss them, but I don't know. I got scared with the whole like radiation thing. Just basically, they're really not great for you. Check it out. Look it up. I mean, I could be all wrong but comment below what you think. Okay, I then got something else off Amazon, which is really random, but I thought my makeup is just so messy and so gross at the moment. I wanna like start so fresh 
So I got myself a little makeup bag organizer thing, which I'm gonna put all my lovely new makeup, which I'm gonna treat myself to. Obviously, I'm old, but yeah, it's quite cool. It'll all be in sections then. I just thought it'd like look way more organized and way more tidy. And it was like 30 pounds or something. Absolute bargain if you ask me. I then went on Cult Beauty and had a little shop for makeup because I had a new makeup bag, so I had to buy a new makeup to go in it. I also <clears throat> bought myself some snazzy hand wash because I just think it makes a bathroom look so much better with a good hand wash. You just think, if you have a good hand wash, like, if you walk into a guest bathroom or a person's bathroom, they've got a good hand wash, you just automatically think they're a good person, you know? So that's why I buy them. So let's try that one. I don't know what it smells like. I've never actually used that one before. The makeup I got isn't that interesting. I got a new <laughs> pencil sharpener because I needed one for like my lip liners. Got a little It Cosmetic brow brush because all of mine are completely done. I've not ever tried this one before. It is called Brow Power and I got it in shade Universal Dark Brunette. Again, saw it on the website and thought, let's give this one a crack. Got a Huda Beauty lip liner because I haven't tried this one before. I'm constantly using either Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury or Whirl by MAC and I just kind of wanted to try a new one. So here we are with the new one, Terracotta. Ooh. Oh my God, I love it. It's an absolute yes from me. Okay, right. Oh yeah. Then I got some Laura Mercier um, translucent powder because I haven't actually ever used this before and everyone's using it and I still put the weather's still hot I'm getting a bit shiny these days so I thought I'd put that in my basket and there we have it I've also ordered a mirror from Amazon as well a massive mirror from my front room that hasn't arrived yet but yeah so there's a bunch of random things I've bought over the past few days and thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this vlog please like comment and subscribe Lots of love.